obtaining all your wanted god rolls for the reprise dreaming city weapons is a lot easier than you would think with this quick and easy farm being available for all of them and the method of obtaining these weapons as quickly as possible is really just as simple as looting the first chest in the coil for a guaranteed dreaming city weapon as well as a chance for either seasonal weapons armor or engrams and with the right routing this can be done in less than a minute consistently all you need is an egredge sword preferably a strand grapple and just follow the same path i took in this video you don't need to smash all the pots either just enough until you see the message that the first path door has unlocked until the next weekly reset the first room will always be the same and it will change from week to week some might be a little faster while others a little slower i think this spike trap room currently is probably one of the more annoying of the options so maybe in the future it will be even easier as far as weapon farms go this is certainly one of the easiest but also not really the most engaging so it's perfect for like netflix on the second monitor type of content but why actually do this in the first place in my opinion the dreaming city weapons have been kind of underappreciated Twilight Oath can roll Envious and Vorpal, which can fit really nicely into part of a boss DPS rotation, especially if you're using a Cascade Point Heavy. Retold can roll Slide Shot and Snapshot for a fantastic precision frame PvP option, since we all know the 5 out of 5 Matador just doesn't exist. And Tiger Spy with Overflow and Kinetic Tremors will be about as reliable as you can ask for for a PvE option. Sleepless is also one of the rockets of all time. Anyway, that's enough yapping. That's how you get the weapons quickly. Bye.